What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Starside Podcast. This is our second one, and I am Saber. I'm Raven. And <laughs> Dalmont is across the way. He apparently died. Oh. Then next we have... Again? I guess, yeah. Really? <laughs> well, Dalmont is going to be a reason we fuck up these intros every it's... goddamn time. I wish we had an eject, an eject seat. Just, we like, need... launch him out of the ceiling. Somebody needs to make that with rails. We can do that now. Yeah, yep. yeah. We, I bet we could make that work. We could absolutely do that. So. Okay. Anyway, so to uh, Delmont's left is yep. Skylord Luke, and I'm Chris. Yay, Chris the Nightbringer, everybody. Chris the Sandwich Bringer, remember? Chris, Chris the Sandwich Bringer. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> I yes, just got done eating a sandwich. He's eating, yeah, another exactly. delicious sandwich. <laughs> Chris the Sandwich Eater. Nice. So, um, first big news of the day. Um, Actually, let's go with uh, game news. So, in Star Made recently, and by recently, I mean what was it yesterday? We got the infamous, famous, whatever Rails update, and so Bad pretty much, time. yeah, yeah. Pretty much everybody so has happy. been rushing through making stuff with that. Yep. Ironically, it happened the day after I went. I went through all the trouble to go into the dev build and then do all this other crap. <laughs> yeah. Steal, get all of you guys on the dev build, get you in, and because I wanted to film that video, and then. The next day, the oh, here, tool. here's all the Rails updates you've been begging for forever. <laughs> Feel free to update your server and you can do it on a little bit, you know, more stable machine in a way. Yep. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it could have been worse. You could have, like, refitted all your ships and, oh. like, not for Rails and then realized Rails were going to come out. That would have been worse. I imagine somebody yeah. probably did that. I, oh, I did that with one of my ships and then I was like... I should go check the dev build, and then I was like in the dev build, I'm like, this is amazing, I need to wait to refit, <laughs> wait, I just did, damn it. Yeah. So now I have to cut like three ships completely apart, and yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically planning on refitting every ship that I have for rails. I mean, not every ship will get rails, but they need it updated anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just add rails to what I can. So you're going to do flip out solar sails for the legacy, right? Uh, no, because that, they just, no, 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 because <laughs> I don't want to stow those, and that would just be a nightmare. No, uh-uh. Those will remain Please. doors. No, you want to make them? Go ahead, and then see if they work. <laughs> I think they would just be too chunky, because when you condense them down, they'd be, like, yeah. three or four blocks thick. I guess that's fair. Yeah, so that one's going to stay pretty basic. Um, I am going to dock the uh, longboat with a rail thing, but that's going to be about it. Fair enough. Yeah. So in other news, not directly related to StarMade, we have StarZide news, which is that Chris the Nightbringer is officially being added to StarZide. Yay! 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 Oh, wait. Never so mind. I'm not going to contribute anything. <laughs> I was going to say, so now he has all these responsibilities that he <laughs> has to uphold or he'll be murdered in the sun. Or something. Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds Because that's how I roll. Yep. When in doubt, put it in the sun and see if it fries. Absolutely. Well, I'm such a great guy. So I, I don't want to burn. <laughs> so I, I, I recognize something. Um, whenever the fact we start that one, here? Yeah, well, whenever we start <laughs> one of these podcasts, somebody fucks off. Yeah, that is Like, literally true. the second that we do it. Because he was here up until then. Yep. <laughs> I know he was. And he's like, oh, we're starting? Okay, I'm going to go in another room now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to sprint out into the street and just not be here. Right? Uh, yeah, well, last time it was you, Chris. Now it's Dal's turn. Who's who's going to go for next time? Uh, well, me, I'm, I'm going to have to fuck off sometime during this, well, so I guess that'll yeah. count as mine. <laughs> I guess. So I can for just sure. your turn next, well, I will be the rock. I will I stand <laughs> fast. He's got a booty call. Stand fast through the storms. Booty call of food. So I don't really know if you'd call it a booty call. Well, for me it is. <laughs> That's <on>. true. <laughs> I'd go get his boo. That's disgusting. What? <laughs> it's a word. What? Uh, I don't want to say what I'm thinking because it's no. really, really bad. I mean, you could. I, pff, whatever. <laughs> You're strange. So, something about tacos. <laughs> no, uh-uh. They're, tacos are delicious. We're just going to say that. Delicious Hispanic food. Uh, yep, well. That's, that's it. Nope. Nope. That's that's enough. <laughs> let's just, oh, let's just leave it horrible at that. people. We yeah. really are. Anyway, I mean, so for those watching this on, I, I will say, um, obviously, 
overlay has been updated or whatever. Um, for those of you watching on the YouTube video, you'll be able to click on any of our channel icons on the left hand side and it will take you directly to our channels. So Mr. Fancy. Oh yeah, totally. It's neat. Here's the funny yeah. thing though. What if nobody knows what any of their icons are? They're just like, oh, these are cool little logo thingies. No idea who. Well, which is click much. them and find out. <laughs> like all of them. And, and then subscribe, subscribe to all of them. Yeah. <laughs> and then like all their videos and watch all their videos. And yeah. watch through the ads. And then favorite <laughs> every single one. Yes. And share it with your friends and family. Exactly. Especially your lady friends. Mm -hmm. Wow, you guys are asking for the world here. <laughs> I, I'm not asking for the world. I'm just asking for the internet. Yeah, there's a difference. Oh, yeah. Well, one's bigger. It's the internet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Technically, in a way, it is. Yeah, I guess. Oh, man. Anyway, so since Dal has fucked off. Yep. Yeah, again. I'm just eating french fries. Oh my gosh! Everybody's stuffing their faces full of food. Skylord, are you eating too? Is that is that going I'm on over there? Apple. Okay. Well, hey, at least that's <laughs> a healthy don't. choice. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting that's pizza. That's only because it's 2 a.m. here and all shops are closed, and I ah. don't have food in my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I, so so I've literally got in my fridge right now, right? Sounds like North Korea. I've got half of. <laughs> I've got half a salad that I made earlier. I was afraid you were gonna say half an apple. I'm like, damn. No, no. <laughs> That's and it. like, and like, two pounds of bacon. Oh, dude, God. there you go, <laughs> man. That's I all did. you need. I was. What did you order? A pizza? Yeah, but like, I'm. So the reason that I haven't eaten the bacon yet is because I'm waiting for Arella to get home. She gets home in two days, and I'm making BLTs. Wait, 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 wait. So you told me a few days ago that you were going grocery shopping because she was going out of town for a few days. Yep. Now you have half a salad and like how many pounds of well, bacon? Well, there's, there's, there's some other stuff, but not uh -huh. really right. much of anything. Gotcha. That being said, I legitimately have two pounds of bacon sitting in my fridge. <laughs> how far away is the nearest store? Uh, two and a half miles. Two and a, you could walk to that. I mean, yeah, not the now problem because it's getting dark. But well, yeah, the problem is walking back with all the shit. Get a backpack, man, and then just yeah. steal everything and uh, just yeah, throw true. it in and get out. Hi, Dale. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, he guess who? Hey, I told you I was getting a sandwich. I didn't hear that. <laughs> I didn't hear shit. Granted, I was AFK for like thirty seconds, but still. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I Nobody you. told me anything. <laughs> Nobody ever tells you anything. There's yeah. a good reason for that. <laughs> that's, that's trash boat. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about trash boat. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That's right, Dungeon Master. Good stuff. That's right. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it that we started. Yes, we yeah. started Fantastic. And we announced uh Rails for Star Made and we announced Chris for Star Side and it's been BS since then. Talk about food mostly. Yeah. Yeah. But that's that's how it always devolves into food and still eating chicken poop salad. jokes. Just, man, everybody's Still. eating except for me. I mean, I already ate because I'm responsible. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's not my fault. I, like, I, I, I'm I not responsible. If the food had already right. gotten here, I would have already <laughs> yeah. eaten. So yeah, I'm not um, responsible. We've had like consistently 15 to 20 people on the server all day today. We have. Yeah, no there's a few new people though. in this sector right now, too, and I bet they don't even know we're doing this. They're just what? like, they oh, grab people just hang out in that house. Yeah, I guess. I'm loving the house skin, by the way. I'm glad you brought that back. Wait, what? Lego skin? No, the Benny skin. Oh, but yeah, yeah. Yep. Freaking love this one. I, I was looking at the What kind of ship is it, like, Saber? What? Is this my ship? You're goddamn right. <laughs> we still can do that animation, you know, that we said like a year ago that we were going to do. Yeah. Effort. That. Oh, man, just a speed build with Benny. Yeah, no, that's time time and effort. If I didn't have a job, I swear. I could get so much more done if I didn't have a job. Right? Uh, um, I'm like constantly looking out the window, hoping my food shows up. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna lie. Sad, because you were so really bad. It should yeah, like your reflection that, that is showing, day. and it's raining out. <laughs> I'm just standing <laughs> in the window <laughs> with a knife. Just with your just hand, work. your hand goes to the window. Yeah, yeah just slowly, like just. <laughs> There's this like ethereal like mist surrounding me somehow. A slow, sad piano song starts to play. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pizza guy walks up, sees you in the window, just turns around and walks away. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Don't want to get murdered today. Oh, no, man. thank you. Anyway, that, guess... that would be his luck. 
Yeah. yeah. Right. Pizza. <laughs> I've been waiting for this long and all of a sudden it's like, yeah, no, not happening. <laughs> Cause it's like, it's been like 20 minutes past like the latest time that they said they would be here. So that's kind of annoying. Yeah. I'm going to have to call those fuckers. Well, did they, uh, did they ever get rid of the old rule where it's like half an hour late and you get your pizza free? Like, do they totally With a lot that of places or? they have. That's lame. I know. Cause that, you know, guarantees good quick service. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I've got to say, yeah. I'm kind of surprised we aren't seeing more stuff lying around in the back. Yeah. Um, give it time. Did, yeah, did we scare it? Definitely. Oh, good point. Good point. Yeah, people uh, aren't anywhere near here. Yeah, no, I think it's just us. It's it's really just us. Yeah, yeah we are. Well, there was a new guy. Middle of nowhere. Here. Yeah, but a new yeah. guy wouldn't know about this. Yeah, and who wanted to put this station in the middle of nowhere? Dal. Good plan, though. It's worked well so far. I, yeah. I guess, except for everybody still calls spawn 222. They're like, oh yeah, I'm going back to spawn. Yeah. It's like, which spawn? Well, usually they say that, and then they say spawn island. When they well, mean. yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's far superior to yeah. spawn. Sure. By a lot, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In fact, I'll throw a challenge out there. I think this is superior to anyone's spawn. Boom. Gauntlet thrown. What? What? Guys, oh, who, else shit. Has, yeah. who else has a mountain for their spawn? What's up, Skylar? Uh, do you think it's time for a new tree? A new tree? <laughs> uh, a new rick? I mean, new type of trees. Better oh. trees. Bigger oh my trees. god, like, like legitimate, like a, like a proper suggestion. Whoa, what? That's yeah. preposterous. <laughs> Actually, I'm 100% I'm with that. In fact, yeah, one, like... of the, one of the things I'm looking forward to the most is I, I want to see different planets. I want yeah. to see more yeah. from them, and I want them to lag less. Yeah. <laughs> more planets. You want, you want more less for lag. Less. Yeah. More trees. I would. I would love to see forest water type world. planets. Yeah, I know you would love water world. I would love forests. That just says enough about both of us. I want like redwoods, and you're like, I want to go underwater forever. I want to be Kevin Costner. I want to have gills. You know, I, ironically, there was a guy uh, on the forums. He, I think, suggested planets being something other than. Uh, Blocks. Oh, yeah. Blocks. Um, and I have to be honest. I, it opens up a lot of possibilities. It'd certainly be easier on your GPU. Well, the problem is though that then that goes away from Starmate's blocky style. Whereas, like the reason that it is blocky is because it's so easy to process and run stuff based on a, a grid-based system. Whereas, if it's like voxels, that's not really going to hold up. Well, I don't think yeah. he was talking about like an actual voxel planet so much as a, as a modeled procedural type deal. Right. I mean, they could them. be modified just in a slightly different way, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's a pretty yeah. radical departure, but, you know, I mean, I feel yeah. like some, some elements could definitely be applied in our favor. But the thing is that people have been, you know, debating about what kind of planets would be best since, basically, since planets were changed. Or maybe since planets were Before in at all, then. I don't know, yeah. Yeah, we're still debating. Yeah. My, and, my GPU yeah. screaming at OpenGL says... <laughs> There's, um... <laughs> Somebody named Thrint flying out there. Thrint? Okay. It's okay. We're safe in here, Chris. Don't worry. Nobody can open the door. No one will yeah, get you're, you. Yeah, I couldn't open the door. You guys won't let me fucking in. <laughs> yeah, because this, it's the star side faction. Him. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just... You're in star side now. It's dead, I think. I think we may have to pick up this gauntlet, Saber. Wait, what about the gauntlet? Yeah. I, I, Gen X else's... Nova spawn. Apparently. So we've been told. Um, okay. Uh, uh, we can investigate. Fly. We'll take a month, whatever. We can investigate. Yeah. Oh, it's not Thrint, it's G-Ball. Thrint is the, the person. Oh. They definitely took damage, too. Wait, no. Or is it just orange? Their name uh, is G-Ball? Right. Yeah, the name's G-Ball. I'm, like, uh, leaning out my fucking window now. Uh, <laughs> I thought I heard something. <laughs> He's just gonna slowly work his way onto the road. Yeah. And then, like, walk there, just sideways, just leaning. <laughs> He's crying. Anyway, I guess I guess we could start with what we were doing, like last week. Uh, what what, what, what week? have we what have we been playing, or oh, doing in general oh. for the last week? I uh, I played a little bit of Subnautica, which you have I played am? recently, yeah, and uh, you are in love with that, and I actually really enjoyed it as well. Yeah, because it's... it didn't feel just like a water game because of just how futuristic everything was. Yeah, and so you know you pop into the little sub or whatever in the escape pod, and I don't know, it feels more contained, almost like it's space, except obviously it's water. Right, and and it has like I don't know what it I don't know what it is about it, but it's sort of like this weird, 
the word I guess I've used is beautiful. It's really, really, really aesthetically pleasing down there. Yeah. And Except for you know when you're drowning. That's yeah, well, less so. <laughs> or when a stalker decides to make you lunch. Yeah, I haven't really, like, I've seen some things which I assumed were bad, right. so I just stayed away from them, and now it's fine. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not bad at first, but after a little while, you have to go into some of the deeper waters to get certain resources, and then yeah. things get a little bit hairier. It was really cool, though. Uh, I also played a little bit of Take on Mars, which was pretty sweet. Um, I, I figured it out. Like, it, it took me a while to figure it out because there's a, what they call a career mode, which is, it specifically says, which I just didn't read because, uh, you know, reading is hard. Um, <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> uh, and it, it's basically just the career mode is you just sit in the uh, mission control and, like, um, operate the rovers and stuff. So you don't, like, you aren't actually on Mars. You aren't doing this other yeah, stuff. Huh. And so I, I did some of the other um, scenarios, I guess is what they call them. And so it was, it was pretty sweet because you could do, like, there's a, a, a moon way station base whatever you want to call it and then there's like a few different mars locations and it's it's actually pretty cool i made the mistake while i was in orbit around mars um i was in the station and i was like oh you know what? i bet I've got, I've got like an eva pack or something on my back right i've got to have some sort of propellant i opened the door and just, <laughs> just out in space. i had a space hey, suit on but i was just like oh no, there's there's no little jetpack thing. I'm just floating towards Mars. Great. <laughs> nice. So I uh, canceled out of that mission. <laughs> Fair enough. I was going to say, you should let that one right play to its logical conclusion. That was entertaining. <laughs> I don't know how long it would have taken me to get to Mars, but I was a ways above orbit or on orbit. <clears throat> also, uh, if I do say so myself, after uh, logging onto that server and taking a look at the spawn, uh, I think we still got a beat. Oh, snap. Nice. Yeah. Is it an island? It No. I think it's it's like a just kind of like a really tall, very obviously cemented station. Admittedly, Ooh. though, there are some really cool like bits. In fact, um, the the way they actually have their ships, uh, like the the permissioned docks, those are really really kind of cool. That's good. Um, um, because yeah, I've I've seen way too many stations where it's just you know the obvious four way symmetry. There's like four pods where you can like Pretty dock your thing much and what this is but better and... cool okay cool it's not bad yeah I can, better, I can, i've given credit credit that's uh it's a good try yeah <laughs> good effort challenge the challenge stands yeah I, w I would say so i seriously though that's that's not so much an, an egotistical thing so much as please build cool stuff oh yeah actually I was, if it's yeah, cooler gonna we're gonna that. steal your ideas and we Absolutely. need more ideas to still we, we need, we need <laughs> everybody needs more ideas to still yeah mm -hmm. It's not a, oh, we're better than you. It's a, let's, Please let's make challenge people to us. improve God help us. Yeah. Just throwing it out there. See more cool stuff. Mm -hmm. If you guys know of a good one, please, like, send it in. I will literally go look at it right now. Uh, well, I did, uh, back before we started this server, I did that, like, scouting thing where I went to a lot of the bigger, bigger name servers and some of the not as big name ones, and I didn't find anything that was outside of the norm and that was kind of disappointing because i was like oh yeah these big servers you know they've got to have this really cool spawn station nope nothing so that's why we decided to do this grand island mountain everything hmm. here <laughs> it reminds what me, island again are we ever gonna expand this station uh maybe give it a different biome uh oh definitely um, one day yes we'll, we'll probably add snow to the the mountain oh, like, yeah. in the winter i love snow but like i would like to do <laughs> some seasonal ish stuff i don't want to like change the whole thing to autumn because that would be oh, a nightmare no, no, no. but like definitely thinking about adding another snow, island oh adding another island uh yeah there have been a few ideas regarding that um one thing that we want to do is uh i don't know how exactly we're going to do it like if there's going to be I don't want to, okay, I'm going to use the word incentive, but I don't mean like, oh, you pay money and you get this thing, but like, maybe people will be able to like dock houses or like something to the actual station. Something like Ooh. that would be cool where we could like expand our cities more procedurally. So like it's actually player housing, but we, we, we want to do something like that. There was a marketplace that we wanted to do a long time ago that we just didn't add. When well, we uh, ban people, yeah. can yeah, we evict the, the them? The spot's there. Evict <laughs> them, just blow up their house. <laughs> with oh no with a bulldozer with the blade made of explosives oh that's good <laughs> it's done all right i'm back it's done oh welcome back wait did you get fruit yeah 
Yeah, nice. Yeah. I'm happy now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Skylar had brought up really an interesting point with the trees that we didn't really address. Yeah. I'm thinking instead of new blocks for the trees, what if we used orientation data to do color on them? Change the season. I'd be cool with that. Oh, that'd yeah, be awesome. and have like a bit of a random. Um, you know, you could even have a random algorithm for that based on the type of planet. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That is an interesting idea. I'm gonna write that one up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and that would say that would save us having like a billion new blocks, and we'd still get all the cool stuff. I mean, what are you gonna yeah. do? Like, I mean, it has orientation data anyway. Yeah, and I mean, it's the same texture on every face of it, so you would only need one new texture face. Like, you wouldn't need to do a whole block. Mm -hmm. Control you. It was Photoshop. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Just control you. Mm -hmm. What does that do? <laughs> you uh, change the saturation. Yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. Also. Nice. So you can actually balance the colors however you want, and you can just make green and the blue and blue and the yellow and so on and so forth. That's what Raven sees all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Oh. That was a pretty sick burn. Didn't see it coming. Thanks. Anyway, uh, I gotta get that was support. actually pretty good. I didn't see that one coming at all. I don't see most things, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, I really like this room because it's very colorful. Right, Raven? <laughs> it's all gray. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> How dare you talk with my emotions like this? <laughs> anyway, you know, I I need to talk to Schema because um I believe there should be data in. Well, I know, I don't know it's rigged correctly for this, but we really need to have Dave and or whatever character you actually are in game be able to twist his head sideways too, because it drives me nuts. Yeah. You can't do mm -hmm. that. It's I definitely know. rigged for it. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Yeah. You can there's, see it in the animations if you fucking play them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there there is a bone in the neck and the head and all this other stuff, but we need we just like he locked it. He even has eyebrows, man. Mm -hmm. Uh that I didn't know about. What? Mm -hmm. Eyebrows? Secret Dave eyebrows. Secret Ooh. Dave eyebrows? Are you sure they're not attachment points? I'm I'm hundred percent positive that I'm completely full of shit. Okay, what, I was gonna what say. Are you gonna I've seen the model before. <laughs> Honestly, like, well, what are you going to attach there? Eyebrow Antenna. somethings? Antenna? That's just they're they're actually attached eyebrows. to the helmet. <laughs> Old man eyebrows. Old Dave. Eyebrow yeah, antenna. <laughs> the, those, yeah, I'm really interested to see like some customization for Dave eventually. Yeah, that's, would a lot great. of people have been asking for that. Like, And that goes into a lot of even more advanced stuff where it's like oh yeah i yeah. want like you know male female race alien and all this other kind of stuff and it's like you know what we're not at that point yet yeah if if i had one request it would be like like an eva pack like a backpack sort of thing where it lets yeah. you in astronaut mode move a little bit faster through space you would not be alone in that request in fact i have a few concepts for that now that is not to say and I have to be very careful about what I say now. Uh, that is not to say that that will be guaranteed in the game. However, I do have a number of concepts for that, which I myself have made. So I personally would like to see that added into the yeah. game. As long as that aligns with the team's views for the game. Yeah, which, I'd love yeah. to see something like that where you could... You'd, you'd have like a, like maybe like three what I'll, for lack of a better term, call module slots. Like you can put a thruster in there. Or you could put three thrusters in there and move faster. Or you could put yeah. like... A little storage container, which works like an extra bit of, you know, inventory space. Or an oxygen tank, if we get exactly. to that point. If and I was yeah. going to say, like, having those kind of module slots, actually, that, that would lend itself to, like, the uh, the player weapons and stuff, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Overdrive, et cetera, et cetera, and you could just put it yeah. in the slots. Yep. Or exactly. furthermore, you could take that again and, and do it in the, uh, like, the player of the handheld salvager. Mm-hmm. You can make a shotgun salvager for your hand. <laughs> just, oh my god. Wow. What are you, Robocop? And then, and then we're yeah. going to make a whole oh, bunch of like, the law. <laughs> hilarious plays on lightsaber design. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I think that. Yeah. Laser sword. Yeah, I'm really just... excited. I'm really excited for the sword. If you if you do go into and look at the animations of the characters, there are a billion of them. Some of them are actually melee animations already in. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, it's just um, not. Yeah, Omni made so many cool animations, and like, there's just a punch thrown in the game. Like, there's a run, there's a crawl. I think there's a kneel or something like that. There's just so yeah. many there's like three different death in. animations. Yeah, sweet <laughs> yeah. falling. Uh, I'm um, gonna go kill people just nonstop. Um, yeah, there's a even, bunch of different uh, falling. Yeah, even the alien has a bunch that aren't used. Like, there's a bunch of different idle states alone, where it's like, oh yeah, those aren't used. They, they do one. not work as well as Dave. No, no. not no. even a little bit. <laughs> 
No, See, that's just uh, stuff that like it got put in and then it was working and so then it was just moved on from which i'm not blaming anybody because i mean there's a lot to do so <laughs> as long as it didn't work and it yeah. should make people happy but you know how the internet is so who's who's next for what have you been doing this last week how about you uh, what are your I, I can i can go next it's yeah fine. might as well okay. nobody else is volunteering um speak rails <laughs> Yay! Mostly Rails and GTA. Like GTA up until like three days ago, and then it's just been building shit with Rails constantly. I Obviously, I did GTA that video. Well. Yeah, we went and did um, the Pacific Standard Heist. Yeah, How'd for three go? hours. Oh, just geez. just the just the finale. Oh, three wow. hours. Finally wow. got it down. Dal showed us kind of how to do it the right way, and okay. and we did well because um, he went and looked up a guide or whatever. And then we went and did uh, Humane Labs th- that same night. And then we turned around and did Pacific Standard again. <laughs> Got it in three tries, though, well, on, that's the, good. on the final bit. So that was My fun. God. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I went oh, to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Holy shit, fuck that. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of on a rampage. That oh, night. my. Got a Hydra, though. <laughs> it was a large thing. Hy- Hydras right are awesome. What's a large thing? It just kind of went through I'll the frame, nice. and now it's gone. <laughs> I almost said it, but she brings you sandwiches, so I'll be nice. Also, it's yeah. Mother's Day recently, so yeah, yeah. Anyway, but um, beyond that, yeah, just uh, I'm trying to keep up on the channel a little bit better. I'm trying to do like an upload every two or three days, okay. which is a lot better than my upload every two or three weeks. Yeah, you're doing. Way- that's where I'm at right now, and yeah, yeah it sucks. But that's the way it is. I've yeah. honestly just pretty much gone away from that entirely simply. But I'm going to go back. But it's just so yeah. much work. Yeah. And I've got so much more work to do. The time is I've just put not more there. effort into this podcast than like. <laughs> well, like you know, I've done that, more. That makes me think like I would love to do a kind of like live, I guess, lineup review. You mean like streaming? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just actually, and, I'd, I'd and not even record it. Don't push it out on the channel. Just like feature some people who have some really cool stuff. We just pick out some ships that we think do stuff differently and yeah. go from there. What are you doing, Chris? No, shh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> He's like trying to the sea. Right, Sit down. down. No, Sit down. Down. No. <laughs> Sit down. No, you're not going anywhere. You, you're not going to GTA. Sit oh, no, I'm not chair. going anywhere. Uh, I, I'm, there's another thing I'm going to do. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. So I think I remember this block. I don't know if anybody actually listens to the podcast on uh, no, not Spotify, SoundCloud, but it yeah, yeah. I don't know if it matters. It, it seems like everybody uses YouTube, and that's fine because like they're whatever small amount of visual <laughs> entertainment we give would be on YouTube and not SoundCloud. Yeah, uh, it, yeah. It did sound like everybody was more interested in that um, on the YouTube using, one? using YouTube. Yeah, sorry, instead well, I of mean... SoundCloud. I mean, I, I know I used to load up stuff like on my phone on YouTube, and then I, I would look at it if it was a podcast. I'd just leave it in my pocket and I'd listen to it on headphones. Yeah. I mean, I know that's kind of how I used to do things, but, you know, having the option to have it there as a SoundCloud downloadable is probably nice. Yep. What are you guys doing? I don't know. I'm where, where is sitting the, here trying to do podcasts. There's just some and... random Dave standing in front of my camera yeah, it's, angle. Yeah, it's the NPC. Just yeah, his let name him is No Name. Just let him let he's him be for a moment. Making him okay. do stuff. I think he's dancing, sort of. He's not I don't, dancing. I don't. Oh, he's like nodding his head. I don't know. No, that's definitely not the dance. Okay. I'm um, just trying to find something kind of cool. Oh God. So anyway, while he's doing that, oh wait, no doubt. Can you make him strip? It. What? Uh, I, I can try. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> just get out. We don't want you anymore. You're not in Star City. Oh, anymore. man. I You're can't. You won't let me. I can't open the door. <laughs> Dicks. You're trapped forever. <laughs> oh, man. You will never escape us. Right? Oh, man. So, uh, there yeah, we any, go. anything else you've been. Oh, oh wow. Yep. Now that's yeah. a thing. <laughs> now the robot Dave is dancing. Mm-hmm. And he's not doing the robot. How disappointing. Right? <laughs> I should add that. Should be. I should make him do the robot. That would be amazing. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what I should be spending my time on. Is this what the <laughs> future the looks like? Working on. This yes. is exactly what the exactly future should be doing. 
not any of the new cool stuff that everybody will love, but making new dances. Hell yeah! Yeah. I don't know how happy the team would be with me doing that. Yeah, you were do gone it on your own for eight hours? <laughs> <laughs> dances. <laughs> right. Can you make him break dance? I wish. <laughs> Please? Make him die. If I could, Make I him would. do a head spin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyway, the future is now. Del, what, what have you been doing? Uh, well, actually, more rails and then city skyline consume a massive portion of my life for about a day and a half. Yeah, I played a little bit of that, but not, not like to your level. You know, something I thought of, um, and actually, I just thought of it when Dad was talking about making builds and stuff. Is rails are really going to slow down speed builds now because anything you want to make with rails takes a decent amount of time to get set up and so all the speed builds that you've been doing for the channel or that you know the conglomeration of all of us have been doing for the channel will be way slowed down by unless you have like one person dedicated just to rails like then it'd be a three person speed build which would work but i'm, I'm worried that that's really gonna slow stuff down i don't know i'm not sure if i totally agree with that I, I think know, it depends on what you do with it because like I mean, we've, been, it throw, we've been learning it but like with our latest ship it's been slowed down quite a bit but we are doing a lot and we're learning it at the same time so well to be fair there's a lot of bugs still that, that are is slowing us down mm -hmm. um, one thing definitely. in particular is mass enhancers really need to be looked at again yeah no just, that's definitely true just balance especially for rotators mm hmm because like we've got well actually like, uh, just in in general, Sky yeah. and I were having huge problems with it last night. Oh, was that with rails as well, or just the yeah, rotators? Yeah, with rails. We, we didn't okay. have any rotate. Well, we did have rotators, but like oh. we had um, an arm with, I think, like eight or nine gotcha. oops, uh, pieces on it, and then they had docked entities. So we had, you know, I mean, these were big arms or whatever, but we tried to yeah. make them move out, and it just would not work. What is? What's happening? <laughs> he just dies. Oh. I turned around and I just. Uh, wow! Whoa! whoa that Way actually to be killed him. <laughs> he actually you died. You murderer! You monster. That. No, he... I deleted him. Whoa! No. I killed him. That's right. I did it. Oh god. I killed Mufasa. Lightsaber fight! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. that was terrible. <laughs> Another one. Why? I'm trying not to distract Is he actually going to die? Like, properly die? Because he did just <laughs> disappear. It's a little... Oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> Lightsaber, stand up. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh god. I volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the sacrificial lane. <laughs> Do it. Nope, can't force you. I want to drive you. Only works on NPCs. He's not even a human. Only on NPCs. He's a robot. Very sadly. Mm, fair enough. Are you uh, let's try a few more of these. I said you're a robot. D I that did was... it. I deleted him. <laughs> Twice. Nope. Dude, really? Yes, I told I was gonna you be... that. Oh. I still didn't listen. <laughs> I'm so disappointed right now. I, just, I don't want to be in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Uh, Lay down, uh... cry, and die. <laughs> <laughs> in that order. Right. Okay, well, in that case, uh, Chris, what have you been doing over the last oh, week while well, down for Skylord? You skipped me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Our, our lovely I was guest, gonna, Skylord. I was going to let the best for last. Oh, well, all right. In that case, uh, Chris, you can just leave. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I got shit to do. <laughs> um, did you want me to say stuff? Yeah, we'll let Skylord go last. We know how to okay. he is. Um... Well, rails are fun, and they basically are going to consume my entire life, because I have all my ships to redo. And... Yep. Oh, God. I stopped playing GTA, actually. I kind of got tired of it. I'm playing story mode a lot. Story mode is good. It's an amazing yeah. campaign. Yeah, my, my plan is to start up on that soon. Yeah. That'll yeah, be my it's... relaxing game. The um, When you transition to Trevor... Like the stuff he does when you transition. Oh man! To him. Oh my god! Yeah, I was on like a highway chasing some dude on a scooter with my own scooter, and we were, he was just yelling <laughs> "scooter buddies." <laughs> oh, I never saw that one. That's so funny. Oh my gosh! 
Oh. I hope you guys don't get bored of GTA before I buy it. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I still have just to like, do all oh, of my heists. Yeah. Um, other than that, I'm gonna bring back the channel, I guess, because I haven't really been doing anything. What yeah. is that? <laughs> what the fuck that's is that? That's hitting the mountain. No, He's I'm talking deer. about Dave. Oh, da oh, um, <laughs> I it's like, don't want. I've I think it. he's having a seizure. Or he's it's, man. It's, it's, it's like Rain he's, Dave. He, it looks like he's try. He's a cat and trying to cough up a hairball, but just These are not all quite all able. Not nearly as dirty. D as d as definitely, as definitely not. <laughs> but yeah, um, Chris, going back to mind you, I can only see the back of the rails. Him, so yeah. I can't count the number of posts or comments or you know everything that I've seen where it's been people who haven't played for a while and they're like, "Oh, Rails is out! Oh, I gotta, I definitely gotta like download this again." It's yeah. just oh. like all these people are just going nuts mm -hmm. about it. Can we just do a whole thing on what we can do with Dave over here? Because that's I, I don't know what. I... <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? What is that? It's his uh, probably his zero G death. Yeah, it could be. Yep, totally is. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, we're. Or, or whatever represent the 3D <laughs> that's pretty cool no <laughs> represent Shut star up. sight no, get it right what oh no i'm talking about my knowledge of it oh well but yeah star sight yeah. do that that as well i guess all right so <laughs> sky what have you been up to for the last week well i can tell you well what i've been doing for the last month that'll work and the answer would be nothing because wow. all right that I had a lot refreshing. of ships in sure the storage, over. old ships that I, that were just waiting to be released. And every day I was, I was checking out, checking out the... <laughs> what? No, sorry, Dal's back. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> really? Dal went outside. Sorry, go, go on. Go, go ahead, just... I was just waiting for rails to start building ships, and every day I was just, I was just like, oh, tomorrow is, is the day, and... Uh, day after that, and day after that, yeah. And, then, and my channel really suffered because I was just waiting. So many projects were in the on the standby because of that. Yeah, I had a couple, but that's obviously nowhere near whatever you had. Yeah, Skylord just. If you think Dal just shits out ships, Skylord's way <laughs> faster. Yeah. He definitely has a bigger dump then. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. I already have 12 ships done. 12? The yeah, last time. What? Like new yep. ones? Yep. What? And can I, can you get can you make me do that like animation <laughs> where I fall on the ground and just Because <laughs> that's how I feel cry. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and man, I must be nice having free time, jeez. Right? Well, I don't have that much free time. Well, yeah, not if, making, so. not if you're making 12 ships at a time. <laughs> right? He's just well, really fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's part of it. That is true. He's like, oh, I've got five spare minutes. All right, 12 ships. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> like, Dal's fast, but I don't well, know Dal. anybody that's faster than Skylar, to be honest. Yeah. They are kind of small, to be fair. Some 50 to 100 meters. So, Tao, something that I just discovered, when you have an NPC with the same name, it animates at the same time as you activate either one of them. Ooh. The other one is dying at the same time you're killing this one. <laughs> that. They're like twins. They feel the same things. <laughs> My heart! <laughs> See, look, you're killing My feelings. Poor guys. My fe all the feels. Rails! <laughs> no! I had so much time. <laughs> It's not oh, fair. It's, it's pretty not deep. fair. I have a full time job. No. <laughs> I can't do actually. Go on. Actually, speaking of rails, I think um, so. I've never been a big fan of copy paste, and it's nothing against copy paste. It's just I'm really bad at it. Right in the in the yeah, game, it can be a chore. Yeah, and I mean, I use it from time to time, but I usually use it. I don't have templates or anything. I know Skylord, you do. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, I don't because I, I don't know. I usually, if I want to use it, do a copy paste, I build whatever it is I want to copy paste right there. And then I just use that. And then I usually don't reuse it. What I think I'm going to be doing is making rail components and saving them as complete rail components. So like 
if I if I've got like a certain kind of door that I want to make or whatever, you know, flip up door, I'll make a version of that and then save that. Yeah. And that'll pr- I, I assume that'll make things a lot faster. Yeah, um, like component based wrong. rather than copy and paste based. Yeah. Yeah. Because be then saving. it's you're still docking shit anyway. You may as well it's just like having a whole bunch of turrets on standby. Yeah. At least in my opinion. Yeah, I'm gonna be saving Which some of the stuff that we've done. Fun. Like the uh well I am making a thing where I can rotate three hundred and sixty degrees one way or the other and you'll be able to choose it between two buttons. Um, so I'll be making that once I get that all set up with wireless logic and stuff. I'll be blueprinting that for sure, because that would definitely come in handy yeah. later down the road. But well, I mean, I've already got up. my my I guess quote unquote template um, yeah. for those forty five forty five uh, solar sails. You know, I've got yep. that already, and I've got the hub standalone. So all I have to do is like make new sails and slap them in if I want. I can make them a lot bigger, a lot smaller, whatever. But the hub is you know standard and it's really really easy to use. You've been a little obsessed with solar sails. I it's re- well, okay, yeah. so so if, if you see, uh, you can put solar sails on that. Hey, you can put solar sails on that. Can I put solar sails on that? Well, sometimes it's a joke, but most of the time it's not. Um, yeah. So <laughs> for me, like the one thing that I've always wanted to be able to do is um, in the Clone Wars when Count Dooku basically fucks off and he has that solar sailor and it's that little pod. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the two arms extend and these huge solar sails come out always wanted i thought that was like all right i didn't like the prequels but that was like the best scene from the prequels because it was just beautiful yeah well it was the best scene minus the part where Django fett was dropping uh sonic bombs or whatever in asteroid fields and i got to watch (laughs) asteroids literally get cut in half that was pretty badass too um but still it's one of those things it's like i've always wanted to do that and now i can and I really like Solar Sailors because they have a different, or maybe the right way to say it is, I can justify having really, really pretty glass panels on a ship just because I can sit there and go, well, they're solar panels, you know, they're solar <laughs> sails, it's fine. And yeah. so I can just kind of go nuts. And I really like stained glass just in life. You know, I, I think true. a lot of stained glass art is really pretty. I'm and so I've always wanted to do that. Just in case well, anybody was well, curious. Tell, tell her to call me. We, we can, yeah, we can... I will never do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom, call this guy that I know from the internet. Yeah, that's a sentence I will never say to my mom. <laughs> so I heard you do, you do stained glass. So Mrs. Saber, or Saber's mom, whatever, however you want to put that. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Oh, Saber man. sounds pretty bad. Yeah. It does. Um, going yeah. back really quickly to Star Wars, I can sum up the things I liked about the prequels uh, in two things. One, pod races. Two, Darth Maul. Done. Yeah, that's pretty much me too. Yeah. Although Wait, I will say you, some of you the... You guys don't like the opening sequence in episode three? I thought it was all right. Uh, okay, that was pretty cool. But that's yeah. not like my favorite thing. But yeah, it was pretty good. I, I liked pod races, but I liked pod races for... Like, I mean, they were epic on their own, but the big thing for me was the N64 game that was made because of pod races. Because I sunk, yes, that like, was amazing. so much time into that. Because that, yep. that was really well done. Mm-hmm. Um, beyond that, uh, obviously that little Solar Sailor scene, which is good enough to stand out. Darth yeah. Maul, of course. But beyond that, like, I like... I liked to see the different kinds of ships, not the air speeders and stuff, but like the actual different kinds of spaceships that were used because it sort of broadened, you know, the different styles or whatever, which I liked to an extent. Some of them were a little bit retarded, <laughs> but all the Gungans need to die. Yes, that, I think everybody can agree on that. Anybody Speaking who doesn't of is wrong. Gungans... Battle for Naboo was probably the best N64 game ever. I don't know that I ever played that one. Battle for Naboo was my jam, dude. Like, they had the Naboo police cruiser and the Naboo bomber. Basically, you were Hmm. on Naboo the whole time, literally. It was was a fantastic little game. I have to say, though, that my favorite Star Wars game was definitely TIE Fighter. Just going way back to, like, 95. And it was absolutely TIE Fighter, because it was just so cool to be, oh, I'm just a pilot and then you rose to the ranks and all this awesome cool stuff it's a really like subversive sort of storyline it's not like in your face 
but you can do all this cool stuff side missions bonus missions stuff like that because that gives you like that feeling like uh like skyward was saying in, in the beginning of three where you're just like whipping around giant cruisers and like you're trying to fight off smaller fighters around you and it's just so cool i've heard that uh i think it's that same team that made those games and then a few others is starting to work on a new game that is on kickstarter and it like passed its goal in a day <laughs> i'm like i'm not surprised about that at all Yeah, um, it, it seems like you're trying to like make Dave crawl, curl up at your feet, Dal, like a cat or it's something. It's my pet. <laughs> Just eat your dead pet, <laughs> writhing around in agony. Poor Dave. So yeah, all right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, beyond that, anybody got any other interesting news? Hmm. I don't think so. I've been so busy with stuff, which it yeah. doesn't change ever. But yeah. Holy Batman, Rab Robin! Holy. Um. There should be a newsletter mm -hmm. coming out soon. I don't know why it hasn't come out yet. They've had uh, it, yeah. like, either ready or really close to ready for the past like week. Yeah, I know you were you were talking about it last week. Was I? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. A little <laughs> bit. Well, I mean, like you said something about it last week and. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I, I yeah, I'm not going to talk about yeah. what I've been working on because that hasn't come out yet. But it it yeah. should seriously be out any day. But it's been like that since last week, and it's right. like, okay, guys. I mean, I well, understand you're just busy, so yeah. Yeah. I think what we need to do is we need to pick a project that we can all work on, and like for a video or a series or whatever, and actually do it. Like we we don't have to yeah. dedicate cool. all of our time to it. Just like you know, an hour every two three days, something. I don't know. Because like cool. we have all to, of us yeah. here. Yeah, like because all, yeah, all of our all of our channels haven't been that active. So I think it'd be nice to have something. You know. Yeah, we could all film our own perspective or whatever. Yeah, hmm. I almost I almost think it'd be really fun. And this well, is just my opinion. To uh, to do a planetary start survival. Okay. So and like we did all, yeah. previously? All right. Yeah, but like all of us start on the same planet and we all try to work up to something that can take on a part station alpha. We need we need do to do like that two, with two people that hate us. Because, uh, what? <laughs> because frankly speaking, we're either gonna just completely hamper each other's progress by knowing exactly what we're going to do ahead of time. <laughs> or alternatively. I mean, we could just fight people. Well, I mean, I, what, I want what it to I'm, be a race, a war. Just well, bring I chicken mean, into the mix. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh God, no! He'd bring his pirate that hasn't even been released and, and destroy fucking... us all. Well, well that's a cute yeah. planet, you guys. Well, have I there. mean, like, I'm not even. I'm just talking. You know, something simple. It like the five of us on a planet working together, not necessarily racing anybody, but just see how far we can get. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, idea. Okay, so we talked to the guys a little bit about it, the guys in the Star Squadron. What if we did, like, adjacent planets, like, a sector away, and just, like, we're gonna have a race, and then whoever can do, you know, whatever, or, like, whoever can attack to the base, like, it could be a combat race. I, would, I wouldn't be opposed to that. And, like, just, just start up a, you know, a friendly rivalry, because, like, those guys are one of the more active groups, I think, in Star Maid period, mm -hmm. uh, that I know of, at least, that makes content. So it'd be really cool to have, like, you know, just a, a friendly, respectful rivalry with them. Just like, yeah, yeah, oh, you, you got us this time, you rascals. And yes, we're going to call them rascals. We're not going to say that. No, <laughs> no we're, we're not going to say that. Stay, no, Their gonna team say. name is the rascals. <laughs> <laughs> the rascals. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, whippersnappers. Back in my day, we didn't even have a map. I might throw something at you soon. That's okay. <laughs> Do it. I was thinking, um, were we ever going to finish that carrier and do that thing that was planned with that? Oh, yeah, Dow. Uh, Dow. The, the, you mm -hmm. mean the, the Equinox? Yeah. Oh, god, yeah. Once I figure <laughs> out how rails work, that's the next yeah. goal. I mean, and just I guess we need a, a get second me started. one, though. And maybe yeah. I'll finish the Spartan someday. Yeah. Do you want to work on that tonight? And the Lion Actually, I, I kind of <laughs> I kind of do. Well, then, we'll you know what? Later. To, Dell, I yeah. may if you if you're willing to take my help, I will probably join you. 
it's it's the equinox, man. Everybody's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> all I did, all I did really was build shady. the outside. Yeah, I know, right? That was that was a little. Come a little on, on the inside. We side. got free candy. <laughs> yeah, damn right we do. <laughs> We've got candy and hookers that look it's like basically hookers. already a big space van. I'm gonna build to my own spaceship with blackjack and hookers. Yeah, In fact, fuck the spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, somebody needs to make a giant floating like space riverboat casino now with the mm -hmm. with the wheel actually spinning in the back. I'll do the logic stripper poles. <laughs> Cuz that's what I do. <laughs> logic stripper poles, his specialty. Uh, well, yeah, I mean now I can make like <laughs> stripper poles come out of the ground. I mean, how awesome is that? That is true. You could make a whole transforming room. Be like, yeah. oh, and this is a gentleman's meeting room, and it's like a, a billiards table, and everything. <laughs> it but looks it just like, like a, flips it looks over like a staff room it. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, just and transforms into a so. Stroke. So when we have when we have esteemed guests, it looks like this, and we have our meetings. But once they leave, we start the party. <laughs> <laughs> see, <laughs> like the see the button over there on the wall? Over. That's the party button. That's, Go push yeah. it. Go push it. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing, fucking. The table flips over, it's like this fucking, like, oh god. I <laughs> need to make that now. Yep, needs to be a thing. Make it oh, so. man. I'll have to come up with a way to do it. I'm not entirely sure yet, but so, it will happen. I'm not going to call anybody out by name, but we were having a meeting yesterday for, uh, for Shine. And so one of the guys was like, alright, that sounds great. Make it so, number one. And the other guy was like, but number one what? <laughs> and we're all just like, no. 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 And he's like, no, what? He's like, it's a Star Trek? He's like, huh? It's, uh. it's from Star Trek. Oh, I haven't seen it. And we're just like, no. <laughs> How can you work we're on We're all supposed to be nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to feel down. safe talking to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a safe area. Right? <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> We're gonna be friends. We're gonna make a game together. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yeah, it's it's entertaining. And hey, well, I haven't heard any cries for favoritism for a while, so that's good. Yeah, that's oh, Hallelujah. Cool. That was interesting. Why am I not surprised? I don't know. Well, I mean, about the initial cries of favoritism. Oh yeah, no, I'm not surprised by that either. I was yeah. expecting it. Actually, I figured yeah. it was. Yeah, I think there was just one guy being a complete douchebag. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who? Well, it doesn't matter who. Douchebag? What? It was you. There was one guy being a complete asshat. His name was on Chris. the server. No, not no, on no, server. no, 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 uh, on oh, the forums. Okay. Yeah, his name was Chris. Sorry, Van mm -hmm. Helsing on the forums. Yep, that's the one. Everybody get your pitchforks. Don't pitch tell forks. them. God damn it. Get your pitchforks. <laughs> I, was, I was surprised because somebody actually didn't know that it was me on the server, which, or not the server, the forums, because, like, I've got the different name. But oh, I yeah, thought yeah. that everybody knew at that point. And this isn't me like, oh, I thought everybody knew me. But I just figured, like, because everybody calls me by name on there. And so one guy was like, wait, he's Saver? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, that's awesome. I'm like, oh, okay. I, I figured everybody knew. Right. Well, I mean, it's like, I think when when I first saw your name on the forums, right, you hadn't put your profile picture up there yet. Yeah. And the only reason I knew it was you is because we played, um, uh, what was it, Landmark, and you used the Xanatan name. Oh, right, yeah. But yeah, like, that's my first alias. Yeah, but like a lot of people don't know that. So like, I, it's usually the profile picture that is like, oh, he's got the same one. I yeah. wonder if there's that's a connection. A good way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there are 23 people on the server. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. Well, yep. uh... well, it looks like a bunch of new people, too. There's a bunch of no factions. Yeah, yeah there's some I'm... people that's over fantastic. there right next the to The more new people, the better. Oh, mm -hmm. like, there's a, uh, sorry, uh, my own language for anybody. There's a faction called Star Tits, apparently. <laughs> James41088. <laughs> I think I have Sounds to let like them my kind of keep <laughs> that name. I don't. I don't he's, think that goes against the rules. He, he's making Technically a transforming. No? He's making a transforming strip club. Yeah, we couldn't. We. Oh, <laughs> we <gotta laughs> jump now. So, Dal, how do you feel about having a transforming strip club in the Equinox? 
Oh my gosh. Why not? Uh, okay. Fun fact, we are I'll number go. three on the top server li list right now. Number Wait, three? what? Yeah. We were. S oh my gosh. No, no, that's no, not, not on the, not on like on the actual server list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, not yeah. The, on the launcher. Oh, on yeah. the. Okay. All right. We have twenty-three. Uh, Redshift is at twenty-six, and then and Elden Elden Eternity is at thirty. 30. We're coming for you guys. The next one Spoilers, our ping Dominion. is less than half, bitches! Oh, yeah! <laughs> hey, log on. Come over to us. All eight of you that are probably already here. We, we, to be fair, yeah. we could probably jack up the cap a little bit. I would, like, I would yeah. like to point out that right now it goes L1 Eternity at 30, Redshift at 26, us at 23, Dominion Gaming at 23, I believe. They were at 22, 22. just a second ago. Yep. Game of, Game of Interstellar Thrones at 22, Mushroom Fleet at 12, Wolf Pack at 11, and it just goes down from there. Nice. Like, we are... yeah. We are the best. Look at Awesome Island behind this. Sweet Mountain. Oh, it looks mm -hmm. so sexy. Who made the best? Yes, he is wonderful. Sweet Mountain. Yes, wonderful. Why? What the fuck? You'll see Saber. What? Nothing. What? <laughs> I was going to continue, but then it stopped, so never mind. <laughs> That's great. Good podcast material. So he walks out of the room. <laughs> he just fucks up For again. shame. Go in the corner. <laughs> I'm going to get back over here. Dunce cap for him. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what to do. Oh, man. Well, this podcast <laughs> sure. hasn't been quite as crazy as the last one, thankfully. It hasn't. No, it's it's going to get crazy. Don't it. worry. It's coming. Are you oh, sure? God. We don't have that much longer left, I don't think. It's yeah. How much longer is left? An hour? About we 20 left. minutes or so. We do I need to raise the crazy levels? Do I need to do uh, it yeah, right How do you plan We're in a protected sector. Yeah, there's like a dude literally at my feet. Crying in the fetal position. We literally, we made an NPC cry. Yep. Would be the first time. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say something really bad, and I'm not gonna. But it's not probably the probably only the thing we'll make the NPC do. Oh, God. we'll make it. That was where I was gonna go with it. Oh. Hey, was dude, not... there's there's some people over there. What? They're coming to they're coming towards us. Oh yeah, Wargon, <laughs> Dustin. Uh, they won't be able to get in. <laughs> well, no, but they'll still be over here though. They'll be like, hey, what are these cool guys there doing? Are posts. Get your weapons ready to spawn <laughs> in all of your ships. Actually, that is something I want to do. I want to, it'll probably be a copy of it, but I want to um, have a giant battle on the island at some point, just for an event, just to screw around, mm -hmm. like tanks and We have 23 people and... on the server. Oh, by the way, yeah. Saber, you should uh, tell Sky the plan for the Endor map that you came up with. Oh, I think I did. Um, I think I talked to you about it, Sky. But basically, what I want to do is, oh, thanks for shooting me in the face. That's really nice of you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, I want to put an ATAT -AT on it. But then put it on rails because everybody in uh, Star Wars Battlefront is talking about how the ATATs are going to be on rails. So we're oh, going to do yeah, it first, yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to make a little parody mm -hmm. video about it, and it's going to be hilarious and awesome. I'm down with that. I'm so down with that. Yeah. And it'd be pretty easy to do. We just need to make a little rail track, and then actually make it look like a railroad. Yep. But that's easy. You know, I feel like uh, Skylar and the NPC should be like cuddled up next to a fire or something. They're all cozy. Right. <laughs> Which this reminds is... me, Donald, it's been a long time since we made a PvP map. It has that been is true. made. Our PvP maps are the bomb. Oh, by the way, yeah. speaking of maps, sort of, slash planetary projects, Dell, we should actually bring in my skid racing track at some point, just so I have it in here in case I ever mm -hmm. want to work on it. Or other people are like, we hey, definitely should. I want to place rock. I, I'm not really sure where to find it, though. I know the name of it. It's just if you, you just need the folder, which I believe you have for our uh, exports. And if you can find that, then we've got a spleef racing planet we could use too. Also that. Because that would be really, really cool. Yeah. Because reasons. And explosions. It's so nice to actually see guys out here on the planet, or plate, just exploring. Yeah. Hope your ship's out there, faction. <laughs> they jump in the yep, yep. Shit. Uh, the Minwatar isn't. <laughs> the LAAT is. So it's like, oh god, no, just faction set entity. Just do yeah. it from here. Yeah, come no. on, admin. Done. You're not I don't admin. even know. Oh, it's already done. It's commands. already done. You're, it's finished. Yep. It's over. <laughs> I'm We're not still doing the star side, you yet. fuck, and now I can't use it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what you get. Yeah. Oh, man. What's your, what's your ID? I don't even know. Who cares? <laughs> Fuck it. It's a thing. As long here. as they can't get into it. What's your ID? Who cares? 
I don't think that's Yabow! a valid idea. Yabow! <laughs> just, just saying. So it has been a while since we've done planetary stuff. Do you guys want to do specifically a... Uh, oh, man, remember when we used to do Hunted? That was always fun. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> that would be sweet on this map, to have, like, that would three cool. hunters. Ooh, that'd be nice. If we can get, you know, like, a full 20 people to participate, then it would work really well. Yeah. It, you know, I mean, if not, then it, you really have to down the number of hunters but like even two would be good yep i think that, that we awesome. might have to fill up the mountain if we're going to do that yeah because then we're going to be you know putting it in a different sector and it can get destroyed and people yep. will be falling in the mountain which would be bad yeah you guys at the window yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. is your they look NPC at a dead it's npc <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are you guys doing this is where we murdered him colonel mustard mm -hmm. in the library with a candlestick Something like that. <laughs> oh man! Looks like they're taking a look. So you maybe know, they're funny. not. Yeah. Good look. And I'm not gonna go into detail too much about it, but it's funny because like I was only part of the uh, the work that went into the update video, and that part was obviously the the vocals, the voiceover. Yeah. And so everybody's been coming up to me. They're like, "Hey, how do you do this?" And I'm like, "I I don't know." They're like, "You you made the video." I'm like, "I was part of the video." <laughs> <laughs> All, they handed nice. me a script and I you, read you it. need just little <laughs> note cards that say talk to bench anytime somebody pokes you man. it's just an automatic he is the man uh, speaking yeah. of which have you seen his uh, Black Widow scout that he put out today I, I have not want to check that out yet that is the best presentation you I have him? ever seen yes yeah, he's jealous I didn't say with what <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, because, I mean, that's yeah. what he does for, like, his job, his work, his passion, all that stuff is, you know, making videos. And so he, you know, adds these really nice atmospheric effects to it, and it's really cool. And what are you doing behind me? Freaking me out, man. Shh. <laughs> It'll all be over oh, tears, soon. Dreams. Shh. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. If only I could turn my head around like an owl. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Crack. Dead. Yeah. Oh, and then God. we've got another person laying on the floor dead. Those, those are the worst ones that you crack stars, your neck though. and you're like, am I dead? Did I just mm -hmm. paralyze myself? Ooh, that's right. I need to remod my graphics for, for this version. Oh, yeah. I always forget about that. Yeah, I know. It is what it is, though. Yeah. I'll just need to go in and, and grab cinematic stars and thruster plumes and a few others. Yeah, it looks so freaking good. Crusade does amazing mods. So does Barrish. Yes. So, yeah, definitely Barrish yeah. as well. Yeah. These two guys do a lot of stuff. M-Shaders. Yep, yeah, dip shaders do. Crusade helped out with the uh, taking flight video too, and apparently he's well, he's proved that he's pretty good at this stuff. Yeah, you should see some of the things he's built. Well, Just the regular ships I mean. that he hides in corners. Oh, I know. He ever looks at because he doesn't post them. Well, he They're does, amazing. but he only posts them in Starmade chat. Yeah, like every once in a blue moon. Yeah. If you ask him about it, he'll show you a picture and he'll be like, eh, it looks like crap. And then you're just like, your eyes are like bleeding. It's like, oh, mm. yeah. yeah. <laughs> that man needs to release some some ships and stuff. I'd fly yeah. around on them. God. Mm -hmm. They're good. Yeah, they oh, are. What are they doing over there? It's another guy. Oh, that's KY. What are you doing, oh. KY? I'm going to call him Butt Jelly from now on. <laughs> okay. oh, wow. Not entirely inaccurate, but still, wow. Mm. Speaking of shaders, um, something that Cooper and I have been working on recently is, well, more Cooper than myself, uh, is trying to learn more about the shaders and therefore trying to alter them. That was kind of a joint thing. And so I'm pretty sure I can safely say this. If not, I'm fired. Yay. Um, so <laughs> something we're trying to do is like tweak the models that are currently in game for atmospheres and uh, wormholes. Because I and I believe Kupu as well would also like to make um, wormhole spheres, because that's in theory what a wormhole would actually be would be a sphere right. in space. And so been trying to get that to work, and just the the models that are already in game really don't like being replaced. So they have some sort of like attachment issue or something, but uh, they they don't they don't like it. So Overly we're trying to get that sorted out. Models? Basically, yeah, and uh, that's well, helps stream like the work. Been well. something we've been trying to work. What? So it'll help streamline the workflow in the long run. Yeah. 
I don't know. It, it's I would like to be able to do those because they would be little changes, but they would make a fairly big visual difference. Yeah, that's fair. That'd be it'd be cool. Mm -hmm. I still want to see black holes that could either teleport you or crush you. Yes, that is. I, <laughs> I've wanted those since they mentioned wormholes. I'm like, I hope it's a fifty fifty chance of either being crushed into nothing <laughs> or getting teleported somewhere, and you don't know until you go through or send something. And then through. it and then it updates your map. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yep. that would that be, would be amazing, cool. But I don't know if that's ever going to happen. It would be cool, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Maybe it'll be a mod or something. That would be nice. I would. Like I'd, I'd love to see that as a mod, yep. like later on. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. So it's like, do I risk it? Do I risk <laughs> yeah. going through the fucking wormhole? Well, that's why you gotta like send a probe or something, and then wait for yeah. it to go through and see if you know it is destroyed or not, and all this stuff. Yeah, I don't know how you'd notice if it was destroyed, though. I, I don't know. I think we'd have to have a, a new block or, like, a radio yeah. block or something. I don't know. Maybe with the AI update, that sort of thing will happen. Because I know that that's something that has been on the list for a while. And I've heard um, that, like, drone command sort of thing. I don't know exactly what it is. But supposedly you're going to get a little bit better control over, like, drone-type ships. Hmm. I don't know. This was from a very old QA oh, gotcha. that we did. Uh, with yeah, Schema. things change constantly. So, I mean, you obviously yeah. know that. But. Yep. And there's people like Dow who just sit around and torture poor NPCs. Ah, my at least, at least he didn't <laughs> substitute it for quad torture. Quad. I don't know that. Uh, that torture. Might know. <laughs> Not what you said last time. Quad he didn't say it. He just thought torture. that's what he said last time. Oh no, no. Oh. Dad said it. <laughs> Quad torture? Yeah. Quad, Quad torture. Just, oh. Yeah. Yeah, he, he thought it was something a little different. Somebody on Reddit was actually asking pretty recently. They were like, oh yeah, so I've heard aliens are in the game. Like, you can see them in the tutorial, and then, like, apparently they're somewhere, and everybody's like, yeah, they, they are in the game. Look, they climb yeah. the mountain. They climb the whole mountain. Mm -hmm. That's cute. Yay. Look at them up there. Nice. Excuse me, Impressive. I need to bust out my sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would put a uh, a display module up there with like a, a faction permission on it, but I know it would just get filled with like dick butt or something. Like it's like, oh yeah, yeah. You, you know, put your name here if you climb to the top, and people would be like dick butt, dick butt. Yep. Or actually draw it out on the thing, which would be impressive, really, to be honest. I wouldn't even be mad at that point, though. Nah, I'd leave it. Like if somebody, <laughs> if somebody managed to do that, it's like, all right, well. You put effort into this. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even be mad. <laughs> Just uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh god! Kill your NPC. I bet you he's got text drawing of dick butt and he's heading up there now. <laughs> he's just, just instantly. <laughs> see, you down. can't see what I did. No, I can't. I'm aimed in a very specific direction. No, as far as because, you because we're inside the glass. Yeah. I may or may not have just pulled a rocket launcher. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. oh well, that's protected gonna... anyway. Yeah, I know, but I don't think I'll... No, they just... just freak him out. Oh, crap! That was my chance what? at escape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the door shut. We're almost done anyway, I think. Is it almost an hour, or is it almost an hour and a half at this point? Uh, we're at, like, an hour and 15, hour 20. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, we <laughs> put on schedule. Let's sit down. Pew! Don't point guns in my face. <laughs> the cameraman. Don't shoot the cameraman. Shoot everyone else. Uh, I uh, I saw a video today of it was a uh, it was a grocery store ad. I think no, it was like against a grocery store. Okay, do you guys do you guys know Kroger the grocery yeah, store? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so it was like an anti Kroger ad, which is weird because like yeah. this this guy was walking through and well like it had a bunch of different little scenes first, but then you saw this guy walking through with a. Um, an assault rifle on his back like on his back responsibly pointed down you know he wasn't like swinging it around anything like that he was just walking through the store with it on his back and you know he walked through grabbed some stuff and like it showed the rest of the scenes and some people were kind of responding to it like i don't know what's going on here but like he just went through the checkout and left and then um the like splash screen that comes with at the end is something like you know uh don't go to kroger until they uh re or enforce their no guns inside law whatever no open carry and the person that commented on it was like, I'm pretty sure this is like just a more positive ad for Kroger because that's awesome rather than against Kroger where, you know, like it's people are just paranoid of guns. 
I don't know. I mean, I'm of two minds of open carry in open carry in like I'm from the nor- I'm from northern Michigan. Open carry in most places in northern Michigan doesn't fucking matter because it's all fucking woods. Yeah, it makes sense, right? But like, mm-hmm. like we have a big touristy festival sort of thing, and if somebody was open carrying downtown during said festival, I'm not gonna lie. I would be nervous. Yeah, that would. Um, be. Or in the grocery store or something like that. I I just to me it's like it doesn't make sense. Yeah, especially it's, if it's it like it just seems rifle. pointless. Like, yeah, you gotta I mean, pick like, your places. If you're gonna if you're gonna carry a conceal if you're gonna have a concealed weapon in your car or even on your person, aka you know something like a pistol, something yeah. like that for protection, depending on where you are in the world, of course. But regardless. I don't mind. You know, if you're going to carry a pistol with you and you do it safely and responsibly at all times, it doesn't bother me that much. But yep. carrying around an assault rifle is literally like sitting there and screaming, hey, guys, look what I can do. Because <laughs> yeah. It's not illegal. And it's like, OK, you've got moms with young children in a grocery store. It's a high, very public place. You've got all sorts of different people, old ladies, who knows who's in there. But you're basically walking around with a weapon around a whole bunch of people, especially, you know, like the younger kids and stuff who don't necessarily know what's going on. Yeah. People are, but like, you're going to make, you're going to make moms with, especially like new parents. Like I know when, when I was married and I had a stepdaughter, like that was the one thing that was the most terrifying thing in my, in, in my life is what happened, you know, what could happen to, to her? And if you're walking around in a gun, you're li- with or walking around with a gun in a grocery store, you're just scaring the shit out of everybody. Yeah. And you're doing it because oh, it's not illegal. Well, just because it's not illegal does not mean that it's not <laughs> right, or that it's all right to do necessarily. There's all sorts it's of like, things okay. that are technically legal that you can do that aren't yeah, right. Yeah. That you probably shouldn't fucking do. Yeah. What, so, what are they? Tell me. I can't tell what you. Are these things. Then, then you'll know them, and then you might go yeah. do them. Yeah. Oh come on. <laughs> Bribing politicians, technically legal. Yeah. If you do want, it I'm not right going to do way. that. Yeah, I know, but just saying. I don't have money. Can, can you bribe <laughs> politicians to quit? Because I would totally do that. I would, oh God, so would I. <laughs> I would be just mm-hmm. bankrupt, just broke so fast. Yeah. Please get out of office, all of you. Yeah. Every single one of you. Yep. Except, and we're going to install, or we're going to... Uh, Refill the ranks of politicians with monkeys, and <laughs> things will get done better. With with two buttons, yes and no, mm-hmm. and we'll just see what they hit. Yep. <laughs> I uh, I don't know if I've told you guys this specifically before. I know I haven't said it on the podcast, but I had a buddy of mine um, who I knew back in high school, and he was going into political science. And I asked him one day because like we're from a small town, so I asked him like, "Why in the world are you going into politics? Like, why would you choose to go into political science?" And he looked me dead in the eyes and he's like, because I hate politics. And that to this day is the best answer I've ever heard. I'm like, that's, mm-hmm. you got my vote. Done. Go for president. I'll vote for you. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. I'd be right there yep. doing the same thing. I mean, I, I hate. How can I say this? Politics is my substitute for reality TV. Because reality TV is overblown, conflated, and mostly, you know, produced. It's not really reality. But it's just a whole bunch of drama and nothing gets done. And politics actually has an effect on my life. So I may as well pay attention to that and I'll still get my entertainment. Yeah, well, that's because you were in the Navy, right? In well, the military, you got your GI Bill you got to worry about? Well. Or is it more? No, they never gave me my GI Bill, despite oh, saying yeah, that they would. Right. Yeah, that was that was fun. Um, yeah. But no, it's it's more of I grew up in a. My dad ran for um, state House of Reps, um, and he, it's always he's always been a political person, so I kind of just grew up with it. Oh, okay. Um, but like beyond all that, it's more of. I kind of realized while I was in the military, because while you're in the military, you can't associate with much in the way of organized political groups. Yeah. And you cannot do it in uniform. 
you can go to like a rally or something like that, but you can't go as a military individual. You go as a private citizen. Yeah. Um, and it just, it kind of made me realize, you know, this is important voting and paying attention to what the hell's going on is important. If you don't, you're going to kind of lose track of what the hell's going on. And all of a sudden you're out, you're up shit Creek without a paddle. And so it's, it's one of those things where I think it's important to pay attention. Maybe it's not always necessarily important to be super politically active and some, you know, you know, fire and brimstone person. Like I don't care, not that, but it's important to be aware of what the hell's going on. I mean, look at uh, what happened with net neutrality. And yeah. that was because all of a sudden there were a lot of people that were aware of what was going on because it affected them. Well, there's a lot more that affects you that you might not be aware of. And it's interesting and probably a good idea to double check on that stuff. That being said, I hate state politics more than <laughs> I hate fucking federal. You know who I'm going to vote for? Bill and I, the science guy. Yep. Fuck yeah. Yep. Very president of the world. He's yeah, running for president the entire world. No, I, I don't think so. He should. If no, he did it, he's a joke. Be a he would win. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I think actually he and uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson have joked about it before, where it's like, oh yeah, Neil will run for president, and then Bill will be vice, and I'm like, yeah, they would get the vote for sure. Mm -hmm. That being said, there was a movement back when I think it was called the the technocracy. Actually, yeah. it was basically a political party that said, let's replace all of them, all the politicians, with scientists, doctors, leaders in their particular fields, uh, as elected by the people. And I gotta say, not not a bad idea. I am 100% mm -hmm. behind that. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's you just have to like, be good right. at what, I mean, at poli you have to be good yeah. at, you know, running a country as well, yeah. that's important. But, you know, I feel like... Well, I mean, it's just like the leader of our uh, science and education board doesn't Pro believe in evolution and wants and to cut funding to that, not NASA. I think that's the dude who thinks that uh, that women can terminate reproduction yes. on their own. Yep. <laughs> like I don't know about that. Literally yeah. like ducks. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so, so like, I'm just, it's like, okay, let's put the people that are what we'll call experts, you know, people who do this shit for a living, let's just say, you know, for two years out of your life, um, you know, assuming you're, you've been nominated and everything, you have to deal with this shit. You have to show you have the proper qualifications to deal with it. But, you know, you just, you and maybe a group of, of other, you know, do it more like a board of scientists. Because it's, you know, that way they can collaborate and come up with the right fucking answer. <laughs> Sorry. It's going to have to be more than scientists, though. Well, not just scientists, well, yeah. but, you know, you got scientists, economists, um... You know, for medical person, you know, medical stuff. Let's let's go grab actual fucking doctors, Basically people who people actually know, instead of who's there. Yeah, not just not just people that got elected because they said, "Ooh, nine eleven was bad." Ooh, uh, terrorism <laughs> is bad. <laughs> yeah, and then they get I don't elected, and nobody knows. I think it's all lobbies. Oh no, I I agree with you a hundred percent. It really is. Um, Citizens United was horrible apparently skylord i know you don't live in the united states but apparently our big companies our corporations um now have essentially free speech rights which they can exercise by giving unlimited amounts of money to political candidates which means that those political candidates have a bigger budget can run more ads and things like that they also now have religious rights what Yep. So if Welcome to America. If, if I own a company, Sky, and you work for me, and you need, you know, uh, to get your appendix removed, but I don't believe in in invasive surgeries, right? Like oh that's my against God. my religion. <laughs> I can say I'm not going to pay for it, and that's legal. Jesus Christ. Nice. Yep. Yep. They're, they're not going to abuse it. <laughs> I think openly to... at first. I think they're going to wait until well, and do it really subtly have. until people are accepting it, and then, and only then, will they take it and, and make it a big issue. Because if they do it too quickly, then people are going to oh, that's that's not fair. But if well, you do actually, it slowly... in a way, it may. So 
There was the Citizens United decision, which basically gave free speech rights and personhood to our to to corporations. And then there was the yeah. Hobby Lobby decision, which gave religious rights to corporations. So the religious rights, I think, I mean, it's already being abused in with the birth control thing, which is what the Hobby Lobby was all about. And it's already there have been some other corporations that have tried to keep, you know, push up lawsuits similar to that, but they haven't been too big. But there was a judge. Um, I don't remember where. I, I cannot remember. I, I read this the other day that basically said uh, or basically may have laid the groundwork to overturn the entire Citizens United decision. Because um, basically Citizens United said, you know, corporations can sponsor uh, uh, political candidates infinitely. They can give as much money as they want as long as they do it in a certain way. Well, then he basically said, well, for judges, it's, he was a state lawyer, or not lawyer, state judge, um, appellate court, if I remember correctly. He basically said, well, in... In here, for judges, right, they can't as accept money from from uh, corporations because they need to be completely um, independent, right? They don't they they can't have special interests funding them, but they can take money, you know, from campaign supporters, of course, you know, your average person. But there's not a big leap from judge to politician. No, it's more and, like a and he step even across made, the stone. He even basically said politicians should be able to for X reason, but the logic was flawed. It's already been brought up, so hopefully that gets all fixed. Because well and truly, like we don't have capitalism. We have something what that I will call crony capitalism, where the corporations basically get to pick who goes into office. Yeah, and in a nutshell. Yeah. Uh, so TLDR corporations are considered people in the United States. Yep. And have the same With rights religious, as you. No, they have more. Yeah, they have more rights than you. <laughs> they don't have money. to pay Corporate nearly as much in the way of they taxes. They get tax subsidies. And on top of all of that, um, if Whoa. a corporation like GM, for instance, uh, gets, you know, has that lawsuit of, you know, killing people because their cars were shit, they don't not every the corporation doesn't have to go to jail they just have to pay a fine on top of that if it's a bank you'll never ha you can declare bankruptcy and the government will bail you bail you out i want that right right there i will if if that's the case i will declare bankruptcy tomorrow and get paid off <laughs> i'm good with that we want more money <laughs> exactly too big to fail my ass you wasted all your money Okay, so uh, <laughs> let's end on something cheery. What uh, what are you guys planning or hoping to do in the next week? Whether it's rails or whatever. You, what do you what are you guys gonna? Equinox. Mm. Oh. What? Yes. Equinox. Equinox. Yes. yes. Equinox. Yeah, I'll probably be helping with that, but <laughs> I'm Equinox. I'm actually planning to uh, to spend some time, like not building ships, just building components, just to have them stored, so that when I need this piece. I can I can just spawn it in. So building mechanisms and stuff like that, and I think that'll yes. make speed builds a lot easier. And yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is get our, our the ship that Dal and I have been working on, get that wired up correctly, and uh, so that way we can work on aesthetics and all that crap. And except you're going to be on the Equinox, uh, and then and then I'm going to steal it and put solar sails on it. God. Probably. Uh, <laughs> well, we need some foldy outy bits, but I don't. I don't like some. Yeah, no. I, I actually had a, a, a completely not solar sail idea. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, because this this build started out as the um, the vellum bit for me, where it was just like, eh, I want to do this one bit, and then I didn't have any plan for the rest of it. So I was yeah. like, what are you gonna do with it? I'm like, I, I don't know. This I'm done. <laughs> I did what I came here to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, now I will pass it off to someone else, and then it can explode yep. from there. So it's been pretty cool. But Fair yeah, enough. I think uh, given the chaos that's currently ensuing, which I hope not all the podcasts end like this, but uh, I think we're about to. The last two have. 
Yeah, <laughs> so like 100%. The last one, yeah, the last podcast. one ended in an execution. Actually, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I think know. with that, I think with that, we should uh, we should call it here for tonight's podcast. Yep. I think that should do it for us. And apparently, we're in a toboggan. Awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Sabrogan. The, sa- and, the uh, Big thanks to uh, special guest Skylar Luke for coming out and saying hi. Yeah, yes. thanks for joining us, mate. Yeah. All the way from Croatia. Yep. So I'm sure it's like. In the middle of the night. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll let you get some sleep, man. <laughs> yeah. So thanks we'll for watching. Everybody. Sleep, we um, need Equinox. Yeah. Let us know if there's anything about the format that you would like change because it's only our second one. So obviously it's still pretty fresh. But uh, yeah, that is the end of our second podcast. So uh, feel free to leave any comments down below. This will be on YouTube and also on SoundCloud, which I don't know if we'll continue to put on SoundCloud or not, but we will find out. Yeah. Definitely tell us if you want it. Um, want if us you to want keep more, putting it on SoundCloud. Come mosh with us. We could uh, something like that. On a disc and then put our faces on the disc and then mail it to you. Okay, that's a lie. I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> but, but yeah, you can you Too can mark this. We I, I believe the YouTube overlay has a server IP on there, so you are more than welcome to mm-hmm. come to our awesome server with this sweet spawn island, and we would be happy to have you. So uh, thank you again, guys, and hopefully you enjoyed. And other than that, that about does it for us. So we will catch you guys later. See you star side. See. You.